So you like Google Apps Script? Well then you'll love Netlify Functions. Just like Google Apps Script, they let you create an API endpoint that runs serverless JavaScript in the cloud. Except, they're easier to debug, run faster, and can be run locally. Also, they let you use Node.js. Cloudflare has a solution for this too, but like Google Apps Script, it lacks no modules! And you know you can't be separated from your precious 3GB folder. I use Netlify functions to create a custom API for converting RSS feeds to JSON data, which I use for Listener, my podcast app. Plus, it provides a fast and reliable endpoint that just works. To get started with them, install the Netlify CLI package globally. Then, make a Git repository and run Netlify dev in that folder. This will make a web server that automatically reloads the files when they are changed. And it has the capability to run Netlify functions right on your machine. Next, make a file in that repo called netlify.toml. Under build, set the functions parameter to the name of the folder where you'll store your functions. Next, make a folder with that name, obviously. Now when you add a file to that folder, it will automatically be given the endpoint of slash dot netlify slash and the file name without the .js extension on your base domain. Inside this JS file, set the exports.handler variable to an asynchronous function with two inputs. In the first, you can get the query string parameters, if there are any. To give an HTTP response, simply return a statement with headers, a status code, and a body. To use node modules, just install them and require them as usual. However, make sure that what you're doing doesn't take too long, as Netlify functions have a time limit of 10 seconds. If you want to extend this to up to 15 minutes, Netlify background functions exist. But you have to pay more for them, so, you know, be careful. If you're returning JSON data, make sure to stringify it and also set the content dash type header to application slash JSON. Also, if you're going to be fetching this endpoint from your front end, you'll want to set the access dash control dash allow origin header to asterisk so that the request won't be blocked. Also, make sure to use a try catch statement so that you can return errors as valid JSON to avoid breaking your front end. Netlify functions are very powerful and allow you to make your own APIs. They are ideal for performing a simple function like converting RSS to JSON, as I've mentioned many times, or returning any output that could not easily be created on the front end, but is still fairly simple. For full reference, I've linked the documentation in the description. Thanks for watching! Remember that birds are real and that the actual government spies are fish.